In this video, we will implement business logic for the password reset um, functionality. So I will select my uh, password reset view controller and I will open up my um, assistant editor. Uh, okay, and the first thing that I need to do, I need to create a few outlets. Uh, the first outlet will be for um, email address text field. So I'll hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag, and drop it into my uh, Swift code and connection type outlet, and I'll call it uh, email address text field. Okay. Uh, and the next uh, two will be for the buttons. I'll delete this column here. Uh, first will be for the send button. The connection will be action. And now I'll, I'll give it a name send button tapped. And for the cancel button, and I'll give it a name. Uh, first connection is action, and I will give it a name cancel button tapped. Okay, so now when cancel button tapped, the business logic is very simple. We want to simply dismiss uh, current view controller. So I'll say solve, dismiss, dismiss view controller animated true and completion nil okay so that should work and for the send button we will need to uh, write some more uh, swift code well the first thing we need to make sure that um, um, email address is not empty and if it is empty we should not send anything to our server side so let's first read a value from email from email address text field so I will say let uh, email address equals, and I call it email address, let's just copy it, text field text. Okay, so now I need to check if it's empty, and if it's empty, I do not want to continue. So I can say if email, address is empty empty oh god um so if it's empty then um i can um uh, return or um we um or we can display a user friendly message uh, an alert message saying uh, email address is required please type email address first uh, but to make it uh, shorter, I will simply continue. And uh, if email address um, is empty, we'll return. Okay, so, um, but later, later in this video, I'll show you how to create an alert message again. Uh, but we have done it earlier, uh, so you can simply copy that code from um, one of the previous um, uh, examples. Okay, so now we are ready to send uh, a request for password reset to our server side and for that we are going to use again our uh, special type object which is called pf user so i will uh, type pf user um, i think i did not import yes uh, for this to work i need to import parse okay once i do it the pf user should work okay and i'm looking for request for password reset in background uh, request password reset for email in background with block yeah this is the one i'm looking so for so uh, so email address is our email address we have this variable here let email address uh, be the value that user typed and for the block, I'll hit enter. So for the Boolean value, uh, that will be success. And for the error message, that will be uh, error. Okay, and block of code we will need to implement. 
And basically here, the business logic is just uh, the same as in uh, previous uh, examples. Uh, so when uh, we send the request to uh, parse, uh, once SDK re replies, once, um, once we receive a response from parse, uh, if everything is okay, the success uh, variable will be set to true. If there is an error, if something went wrong and um, it, it couldn't process a request, for example, um, or the email address we typed did not exist, we will be returned a message which we can retrieve from the error object. So let's go ahead and uh, implement this. So I will um, first read, um, I'll first check if error is not equals to nil. So I'll say if error is not equals to nil, then I want to um, display um, display a message with a uh, display error message. Okay, and otherwise, otherwise if uh, basically if success, or I can say if uh, success is true, uh, we display success message. So I display success message. Okay, and because we are displaying success message, I mean, we're displaying a message already twice, and actually here we will display another message the three times, displaying a warning message. I will create a separate function um, that will display this message. So I will uh, create a function which I will call display uh, message and it will take um, user message something like this of type string and in this function I will um, I want to create um, an alert message so here I will need to define a message for example let user message of type string equals um, please type in your email address and I will call this function um, display message and I'll pass it user message okay and with the error message I will do that user message equals um, of type string equals uh, error localized description this is how we can uh, get the uh, error message from the object. Hello. Localized description. And then we can uh, display display message with the uh, user message. Okay, I'll just copy it this time. I need to refer self, okay. And here we'll say let user message of type string equals. Um, and here we can come up with the message like uh, an email um, an email message was sent to you at your email address, something like this. An email message was sent to you. And uh, maybe your um, email address. Okay, and then again we display uh, this message to the user. So, um, okay, and now let's uh, let's create an alert message first. So the way we create alert message is we need to. Um, um, we need to create a variable. I'll call it my alert as I usually do and uh, UI alert. We need to instantiate UI alert controller with a message and then uh, add um, 
an action button that user can tap that will be OK button so here I'm looking for UI alert controller and UI alert controller with the title message and preferred style so the title will be simply alert and the message is the one that we have here as, a, as an argument and preferred style it's going to be UI alert controller preferred style dot alert okay so now we need to create uh, an OK action and that will be UI alert action I'll try to call auto suggestion again oh okay so that will be with the uh, come on with the title uh, and style come on mm. and the style is uh, UI alert alert controller style uh, I'll choose UI alert controller style No, 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 UI alert, UI alert, action, UI alert, action, style. Yes, I'll choose default. Um, and we need, um, and basically this is it. Oh, why is it red? no argument uh, missing argument for parameter handler please auto suggest oh let's just implement uh, anti um, anti an anti block of code and I'll call it action in and I'll leave it like this okay success and um, And, and 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 we need to add uh, this action to our alert right so now we say my alert add action and that will be okay action okay and the last thing that we need to do we need to present this uh, alert uh, to a user so call self present view controller and that will be my alert um, animated true completion nil build let's see if I did not make any typos okay so everything went um, good and one thing I've remembered um, that it's good to do is uh, once we display an alert message uh, here, um, uh, let's uh, in this empty block of code, uh, let's um, uh, dismiss the, the current view controller. And then we'll do self dismiss, um, dismiss view controller animated true and completion nil for some reason um, auto suggestion doesn't pop up right away um, to me okay so um uh, now I think everything is okay so let's um, try running this example and see how it works Okay, so my application is up and running. I will try the um, 
tap in on uh, forgot password. I have my view controller with password reset. First, I'll try to uh, and test the cancel button. Okay, so it works. Uh, and now I will try with the uh, non-existing email. Something like this. Okay, I get an alert message, no user found with email address. Okay, and the uh, password reset view controller is dismissed. And I will type uh, my uh, existing email address. Firstlinedia.com and then tap on send. An email message was sent to you uh, at an email address here so it looks like uh, it is working one more thing that we could add here though is this spinning activity indicator um, but we, we we already know how to do it so let's just continue with the password uh, reset I mean the spinning activity is nice to have it's good to do it uh, but the topic of this video is different so uh, let's go ahead and check um, if we received an email message from parse Okay, so I'll go to my um, email inbox. And I do uh, see uh, a new password reset for Panda. And here is the e email message. So if I click on the email message here, I'll be presented with the page that uh, invites me to reset my password. So here it says, uh, reset your password for application name, new password for email address. So let me reset it to something. Uh, it was uh, 1234 until 8. So I'll do it 12345 only. And I'll tap on uh, change password. Okay, uh, successfully updated your password. Now I can go back to my application and I can try logging in with the new password. So my email address and the new password, which is uh, 12345. And I'll try to sign in. Okay, very good, so it worked. Uh, the last piece of information that I want to share with you in this video is again uh, the um, email templates. These email templates are not, they might not meet your um, uh, design needs. So if you want to change email template on that uh, parse sends to your users, you can go into settings and under settings uh, you want to go to email and this is the list of your email templates. So the first one is for email verification and the second one is for the password reset. So you can type a better message here uh, and remember about the variables that you can use. For example, this is the app name and this is the link that user uses. Don't uh, rename these links. Uh, these variables should, should be called as they are. And there is a list of variables that you can use in your text, right? And if you want to come up with the um, completely custom design for the template, here are the uh, templates link, uh, links uh, that you can use. For example, if you uh, replace a custom password change page, for example, uh, you can design a completely new HTML page and then host it on your server and in this text field provide a complete uh, URL to that to that page of yours and parse will be and parse will use your page instead of their custom I and mean, then their uh, standard and if you change your mind you can always go back and uh, type in uh, the uh, template that uh, password using, I mean, uh, parse is using. Okay, so uh, our um, uh, password is updated, a reset. We were able to log in into our application to uh, with a new password. And uh, we are done in this, with this video.